Oh, look at this. All right, now, action! Oh. <laughs> Get to bow. Good morning. Sir, ma'am, ma'am. <laughs> she recognized everybody. She said she recognized me. And then I said, I recognize you. All right. You guys doing? Good morning. Sir, good morning, sir. Good morning. <laughs> Head erect, drop your elbows a little bit, there you go, bow your head, and meditate. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's start off with just a general warm up. All I want you to do is step back with your right foot, drop into a fighting stance. Right back again. Ready? Pose. Again. Pose. Again. Pose. Back. Pose. Hold it. Right, right from there, do a right ball kick and plant. Back where you were. Ready? Boom! Good. Boom! 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 Okay, instead of coming up and around, just have it come right straight to the group. Ready? Boom! There you go. You can get a better going. Good. Boom! 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 Good. Switch. Very good. Very nice. Left kicks. Ready? Boom. 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 Okay. What is a karate instructor? Let's just define that. On its most basic level, it's a person that teaches the art. I met Bruce Lee when he was 21 years old. I was 31 years old. I was a black belt for about a year. I got a late start. I started when I was 27. I would have started when I was 17, only it wasn't in the country yet. It just wasn't here. Ed Parker brought it over in about 58. I started in early 59. Actually, he was here about 56 or so, teaching in BYU and so on. But anyway, by the time I got one, it was the first I heard about it was, you know, my brother-in-law came home and he said, uh, hey, you know there's a judo school up here in, uh, on the boulevard? I said, really? I wanted to take judo when I was 12 in Chicago, when I was a kid. And unfortunately, the instructor didn't have many good English skills, so when he took me in there, uh, I mean, my mother took me in there, and I was skinny, scrawny. I mean, that's about the best term I can use for myself in them days, scrawny. Little kid, you know, ribs sticking out. And he says, oh, we build him up. Give him a good neck, and she could see me, this little kid with a big neck, so she didn't let me go. Anyhow, <laughs> it was sad, I really wanted to. But as soon as I could, I got started. And my brother in law told me about this place, so I went over there. And, and I, walked into this, I walked up to the school and I had a very close hand, gave one of these shots looking in. And uh, big sign up on top, on top of the roof said judo. So there's a couple of guys behind me uh, leaning against a car, and the one says, uh, Are you interested in that? And I turned and said, Yeah. Um, how much are the judo lessons? And he said, Well, we don't teach judo here. Oh, <laughs> J-U-D-O, okay. Well, there was another sign on the window. This, you gotta remember, this was February of 1959. So there was another sign on the window, and I said, well, what's this? There's Aikido. He said, no, that's Aikido. I said, oh, okay, what is it? He said, well, we don't teach that either. I said, what is this, a bad joke? <laughs> there was one other sign there that said, Kareem. I said, all right, what's Kareem? He said, oh, no, that's Karate. That's how we pronounce it. I pronounced it that way for the first seven or eight years, Karate. Until everybody and their brother kept saying karate, karate, karate. I couldn't say karate. I just couldn't say it. It was karate. But I finally joined the club, became karate like everybody else. This one I really love. Headlock. Okay, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. Do it again. Hit me the ground. Hit me the 
Hit me in the groin. Hit me in the groin. Oh, no, come on. Hit. 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 No. Oh, hit. There you go. Kind of almost get me the bladder. <laughs> exactly. This is the one we argued about. This is the one. It was the other. He did this. He, and he said, but Chuck, you don't understand. It's what you're doing with the leg first. I said, Ed, you don't understand. Nobody can do that. <laughs> you're the only one that can do that. And he could do it. But I said, what good is it to all of us that you can do something that we can't? It does us no good. This? Ridiculous. You can't get to the groin because the arm doesn't bend that way. Yeah. Solution? Simplest solution in the world. Now I can stick it clear up and come out the back end. I can't miss. I can guide him along his leg. Bam! Anyhow, that was one of the things we, we argued about. He had it coming across the gut. And I, I said, you see, now you modify it to the groin, which is the intelligent thing to do. Now you're not going to sucker punch him if you're standing like this. The, the, the sucker part of it's all gone. You may punch him, but the sucker part's all gone. We're trying to get off first here. Right. And the idea is to just be, just all relaxed, just calm, cool, and be able to explode. Exploding. That's a wonderful term. It's a wonderful word. Explode. I mean, who's ever you know watched a movie and seen a car explode in, in a little little bit of oh, boom! And when it goes, it goes up right now. That's how you got to move. You got to you got to be able to explode. You go from zero to full out immediately in a heartbeat, literally in a heartbeat. From zero to 100 miles an hour right now. No zero to 60 in, in so many seconds. Seven from zero to 100 miles an hour right now. Yeah! 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 